Have you ever wondered what secrets the cosmos whispers in frequencies beyond our human hearing? Today, we're embarking on a journey through the universe, not with a telescope, but with a radio receiver. The cosmos is a stage for celestial performances and cosmic radio signals are the music of the stars. These signals originate from distant corners of the universe, covering a broad range of frequencies. Some of the most intriguing are those at 91 MHz, the same frequency as your FM radio, 160 MHz, within the range of VHF radio, and 610 MHz, which corresponds to UHF TV channel 78. These signals, when observed with precision, can reveal a fascinating phenomenon, polarization. Now, what is this polarization we're talking about? Picture an orchestra. Each instrument produces a unique sound, but when played together, they create a harmonious symphony. Similarly, cosmic radio signals come from different sources and in various forms. But when they reach our receivers, they align in a specific way, creating a pattern. This is polarization. The universe is teeming with cosmic radio sources. Some of these include a natural source at 25 megahertz, a mysterious source at 91 megahertz tucked within the Sagittarius constellation, and another enigmatic source at 160 megahertz. There are also sources at 440 kHz and 1440 megahertz, each sending their unique signal into the cosmic symphony. And how do we polarize these cosmic signals? A simple CB microphone and a radio receiver set to specific frequencies can do the trick. This creates an amplified feedback loop with your home equipment, allowing you to observe these polarized signals. What's more, the cosmos itself is a natural radio broadcaster. Certain celestial bodies emit radio pulses when they become excited. Polarizing these signals provides a deeper understanding of the intricate workings of the universe. These polarized signals can be received and displayed on a TV set tuned to UHF channel 78. The resulting patterns, oscillations and fluctuations paint a cosmic portrait of polarized signals. You might even hear sounds reminiscent of the 1960s Star Trek series, a nostalgic nod to our past explorations of the cosmos. There's a tantalizing implication that signals at 91 MHz and 160 MHz might be artificially generated a hypothesis rooted in the technology and equipment from the 1950s and 1960s. It's worth mentioning that the old National Weather Radio Station operated at 162 MHz, further highlighting the need for continued exploration. Our journey through the cosmos is far from over. The famous WOW signal and the SETI project underscore the importance of cosmic radio signal research as they might hold the key to understanding the mysteries of the universe. So, the next time you tune into your favorite radio station, remember that the Cosmos 2 is broadcasting its symphony. It's up to us to tune in, listen, and uncover its secrets.